All right, here we are. Uh, it's tote number six. Um, once again, this is from Phillips and Ford in Argyle, Wisconsin. Uh, just grab one and at random out of the stack, and uh, let's open it up here. Um, ooh, this one has a lot of small boxes in it, so we might. This might be more than one video. We'll see. Um, starter drive spring. Drive kit. Uh, that's probably also for a. That's a starter drive. Um, I don't know if there's a Ford part number on here. C2 DZ. So I think that's uh, for a 62 Comet. Um, yeah. May that may not be worth much. Okay, generator brush set. Uh, that's probably. And it seems to be a lot of, there's a spring. Um, I'm going to put that over here because I think these sorts of things are going to be best in a lot by themselves or uh, rather than by themselves because um, that's just how these things go. Nobody really pays much for a spring, so I only have one of them. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. Utility shims and spacers. I don't know if these are body shims or what, but they're aluminum, quarter-inch aluminum. Spacers. Now this is the part I like though. Um, when I pack it with newspaper, uh, let's see if I can get this apart, flattened out without destroying it. Um, uh, this is always fun to see this. I don't know if it's got to have a date on it or not. Um, sometimes I can get the top of the newspaper and I can see when they when they when they packed it or you know thereabouts. I don't think this one has a <clears throat> looks like it's a piece of classifieds. Uh, I don't see a date or anything on here, unfortunately. But it's kind of cool to look at anyway. Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't have the top of the page that has the date on there. But uh, it's you know. Looks like it's out of classifieds or a newspaper or something. It's pretty old. Uh, I'll have to look these up, but I don't know. Uh, utility shims and spacers. I'm not really sure that that's going to be something that is sellable separately. Uh, D1AA. That's something for a 70s Galaxy. Okay, these are... These are door door latch or door catch shims. Um, OA, yeah. Um, these are all different. Looks like there's all different sizes in here. Uh, those are no, those are the same. Um, <clears throat> these sell uh, slowly. Um, I think I had a whole box of these not too long ago that I had in the in the store for probably five years, and I sold maybe a half dozen of them. <clears throat> and I just kind of wholesaled them out. Um, I had a bunch of these too. Um, yeah, these will be these will be really good in a lot with a bunch of other stuff. Um, dealers with more space than I do will buy stuff like that, so that's good. That'll be good in a lot. What else we got here? Um, uh, main plug oversized drain plug. Okay, so it's a this is a oversized um, oil drain plug uh, for forty seven to fifty three GMC forty five to forty nine REO truck. Um, 1949 to 53 Ford products, 49 to 53 Mercury products. Uh, there's something else. Oh, it's a self-threading. Um, yeah, those are interesting. Um, probably not something that'll sell by itself, but this is shaping up to be a really nice lot of, of stuff that can, that'll do really well at auction. <clears throat> so we'll see what else is in here that I can add to it. Okay, here's another box that is missing the part number because it's faded 
Looks like it's a gauge, possibly. Yeah. Oh, that should be easy to find out. C7AF. Um, fuel gauge? Uh, worth looking up. That may be something I can sell separately. Uh, it's a Fomico 67. Oh, I can't even get it back in the box. Oh, I don't know how that went in there. I'll just set that off to the side. Um, okay. Random brake linings and these are not brake shoes these are just the these are just the this the asbestos or the the friction material part uh 30, 42 to 30 1942 to 1939 Ford truck uh kits will do really well but these individual pieces um they may not even be worth putting in a lot um let's see that is a bracket a mirror bracket c1u B, so that's for a Econoline. Um, that may actually be worth looking up. Um, another drive kit, starter drive kit. Those will sell or not, depending on what they are, what they're for. Here's another one. Um, the 60s stuff tends to do fairly well. Uh, here we go. More of those. Um, more of those shims. Uh, these may be. These may have a 50 replaces BA7022058A shim door lock striker plate, Ford Mercury and Lincoln. Yes, that's that's definitely what those are. Um, not really worth selling individually. I don't think I've I've tried to deal with those before and they take forever. There's another starter drive. That you know if these aren't sellable on their own they may actually make a good lot too i find if i put things that are similar together i tend to get more money for them um brake lining kit for a 57 okay but it's only got three of the Inside the box, uh, that will sell. Um, it, it's weird. It's like you can't sell the brake shoes, but the brake linings people will buy. Kind of weird like that, but we'll look that up. Um, there's a larger box, uh, more brakes. This only has two pieces in it. Um, yeah, that's what ended up with that last video with those last breaks. I put uh, I put those in a lot. I'll I'll stick these with those, um, and those will go up in a big lot because I don't think I'll get anything for these either. Um, this one is taped shut. Let me see if I got my knife handy. Still got the factory Cosmoline or whatever that stuff is they put on it. It's got the attaching parts. Uh, what's the part number? 1970 Galaxy. Um, yeah, you know, they sell. Uh, but, you know, people aren't exactly, there's not a lot of, it's not exactly a thundering herd toward NOS parts for a 70 Galaxy. Um, but, you know, there are people that own them and that do need that. And that is a good part. I mean, it'd probably be $20, $25, something like that. Um, another starter drive. Um, that's a piece of, uh, it's not, it's not stainless, it's chrome. Um, but that's for a 70 Galaxy also. Um, that that the that tends to sell slowly, um, but you know it's worth putting up. I do sell stuff like that. The, the the moldings and stuff are fairly fairly decent sales wise. Uh, there's more of these shims. These are for. I just don't have anything on the box. Oh, here it is. Uh, B7A, so 57 Ford Mercury. <clears throat> I'll put those in a lot. Here's some more. 
few in the bottom of the box. Uh, these are, what's this? Oh, there's a, ah, I've had a few of these. They, they generally go for 12 to $15 a piece. Uh, they're worth, that's worth putting up. Um, okay, we've got, uh, oh, <laughs> have any pegboards for the garage but um, those might I might put those off to the side and keep them for myself give me a little incentive to organize um, insulator okay uh, those um, probably not I'm gonna put those up separately here is what it looks like more brakes um, Falcon. Uh, we'll, just, we'll put those up. Okay. We will put those up with another uh, another lot of brake parts. Oh, what do we got here? That's for a truck. 63 truck. Ah, door lock. Oh, these are okay. These are good. Um, I usually get a hundred dollars a piece for those. Uh, because I'm 63, I don't know if they're reproduced or not. Um, the NOS ones apparently are more sought after. Uh, I think that was the 63. Um, 1960 Falcon uh, Comet Hood Spring. Generally, those are slow sellers. Um, but we'll look it up anyway. And, uh, this one does not have a part number on it. Wait, here it is. Okay, there is. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a pair. So, C3TZ812, 1812, and uh, 1813. So that's a left and a right hand pair. Um, those are definitely you know it's it's always a you know the the instinct is to put them up as a pair but it's not often that people are actually looking for a pair um and the left side ones are worth more than the right side because the left side ones are the ones that wear out so there's few of them around but you know you look into the options you might put them up separately you might put them up um uh as a, as a pair, you know, it just depends. Um, I've done it both ways. Uh, there's some other good stuff in here. Okay, uh, this is, what's going on here? Um, seat belts? Yeah, seat belt, okay. Seat belt, it looks like one seat belt set for a lap belt. Um, let's see if there's a, it's got instructions and everything with it. Uh, there it is. Uh, One Piece 1973A, which is Galaxy, but that may fit other other models. Um, yeah, it's gonna sell eventually, uh, so that's worth putting up. Um, what else we got? A Westinghouse box with bulbs. Cool. Um, the thing about bulbs is, you know, they're readily available now, uh, pretty cheap. So um, that'll be something that goes in an auction lot. Ah, okay. There we go. 60 to 64 car parts and accessories illustrations. This is just the illustrations. Um, it's got all the, uh, you know, the blow up diagrams and stuff, so you can tell the part you're looking for. And I've actually found part, you know, parts I didn't know. I kind of knew what it was, what class of part it was, but I didn't know the application. You can look at the pictures and you can match it up. It's a pretty good, um, reliable illustration of what the part actually looks like. So you're able. I was able to identify some parts that have part numbers by using a book like this. Um, I have a copy. Actually, I have the PDF, which is searchable. Um, and that's the thing with catalogs like this is, is most of this stuff is available 
as a searchable PDF and you can have it on a computer or a tablet, which is much easier than trying to manhandle a bunch of these books. But um, they're worth they're worth putting up. They people do buy them, even the ones in that condition. Uh, okay, champion spark plugs, more Westinghouse bulbs. Uh, three of them. Uh, that'll be that'll make a good that'll make a good uh, auction lot. Um, okay, we got more. That one's missing. Spark plug, empty box. Spark plug. Spark plug. I've got. I mentioned in a previous video. I've got uh, a bulb. <laughs> I've got an auto light. Uh, cabinet out in the garage that has it's full um, these look like they're all different um, probably put all this stuff with them sometimes uh, boxes of 10 will do really well these look like they're a mix of different ones so try not for those but if they're the right spark plugs people will pay for them okay here is another box of champion w18s looks like there are six of them in here. Um, wow, those are big. Uh, six of them to look around. There might be some more in here. Um, you could make a full box out of these, and depending on what they are, you know, ten to forty dollars. Some more, and it's just a. It's just a, a matter of do I want to sort through them and find sets or do I want to just sell them as a big lot? Usually it's easier just to throw them everything, throw everything in a big lot and sell them. Uh, here are oil pump springs, 15 pieces for flathead. Uh, flathead stuff worth looking up on its own. Oh boy. More boxes that are, uh, oof, more spark plugs. Champion, Autolite. Actually, yeah, they're Autolite. Um, God, these boxes are in horrible condition. I mentioned this before, but they're not acid-free paper, so they tend to deteriorate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know spark plug part numbers off the top of my head. There's more. Um, okay, so... What I'm going to do with these is put them back in the tote just to get them out of the way. And I'm not sure what we'll do with them yet. Probably look and see if I've got, if I can make a full box of 10 of something. Because that'll sell. Otherwise, you know, I'll probably just end up putting them in a giant lot. Starting them out at $9.99. Uh, okay, what is this? Uh, lower radiator hose heater. Um... Yeah, I grew up in Minnesota, and these were definitely necessary in the wintertime. Um, <clears throat> yeah, seeing a car with a plug hanging out of the grill uh, is not was not unusual. It was a pretty common uh, occurrence in Minnesota and Wisconsin. But since I moved to Tennessee 20-some years ago, I have not seen one. Um, you know, I think modern fuel injection and stuff, they really don't have the hard starting problems that they used to have. But, uh, you know, I'll throw this in. I sold a lot of, of these sorts of things a while back. Uh, so they, you know, they do sell. Um, okay, this is a Philco. A Ford Philco AM radio. Uh, I don't think it has a part number on it, but D10A. Um, that's a Torino. But, uh, you know, radios are, radios are weird. Some of them are worth a lot, some not. Uh, here is a vent cable of some kind. Um, another piece of molding. Um, usually there's a part number stamped on here, and the problem is that they fade right along just like the ones on the flaps do so I don't see a part number on here 
Um, this is a newer style package, so this would have been 70s. So likely, unless it's a pickup, it's probably not going to be a big loss if I don't find out, figure out what it is. Um, that is a package for another piece of molding, which I don't see in here at all. Um, that's a speedometer cable, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it's awfully short, though. I think it's been cut. So that's probably not. Uh, more spark plugs and... Ooh. <clears throat> I have one of these. A uh, little nut um, and bolt organizer. in here. Liquid solder. <sighs> Hard as a rock. Guess it worked. <laughs> Some... I, I, a lot of times I'll keep these, you know, because there's stuff in here that I can use. If there's, if there's sheet metal screws or washers, there's some plastic. Oh, oh, you know what this is? Um, I found another toolbox a while back that had some kids model airplane stuff in it and I'll bet you this is another part piece of that because here's a couple propellers there's some fuel line um, it's some so somebody here had like a, a, a airplane hobby because I found I found another I found a few um, by Bi jet which was a I think from the 60s a remote control model jet and and you know I wasn't able to sell it but um, it was interesting nonetheless looking at it uh, it had plans and stuff in there it was kind of cool I think somebody associated with the garage had uh, had a model airplane hobby which was kind of cool to see uh, an envelope with a piece of paper in it So yeah, this looks like somebody's washers and bolts, uh, flat washers, those are coming handy, I'll probably keep those personally, there's more, there's a couple of transistors or something, and um, yeah, not much in here, screws, those are, oh, I was just saying about screws, uh, let's see, yeah. Yeah. so that's it. I guess that didn't take as long as I thought.